pilot is the uh, universal pilot that's done in scale to the, all the models that we make in the uh, 1.25 size. The uh, micro lights, ultra lights, auto gyros, helicopters, and if you watch some of our other videos, land yachts, uh, I even have boats and you know other other models that uh, that have used this particular pilot. So it's become a, a universal pilot in that respect. The pilot started uh, from ground up. I needed a pilot to fit uh, these particular models and. I had to design the pilot from scratch as I did the pilot that I created back in the 80s, you know, the mechanical uh, pilot, robo pilot. If you looked at uh, our robo trikes, you know, you'll also notice that Mia Microflight is the only company that has produced a robotic pilot for controlling an RC microlight. In this particular video, you'll see that I have a uh, the model sideways and you can see the two servos at the back which are your basically your standard uh, weight shift control now this is also employed in uh, RC auto gyros you know you have two servos at the back uh, of the mast with two links going up to the control head which pivot forward backward and sideways and a combination of that via mixing through your transmitter so it's basically the same control mechanism that is employed in RC auto gyros and you know there's no no magic there nothing nothing new but it is one of the easiest ways to control a radio control micro light however the uh, Mia Microflight robotic pilots do not operate that way all the controls are in the pilot itself and, and that's some Mia Microflight uh, innovation that uh, I did that uh, you know also many years ago when I started selling the uh, MIA robo pilot kits which I sell to this day. Look into those videos and take a look at that as well, you know, as, as an original design. But this particular pilot is just to mimic the controls via the uh, flexible arms. Uh, the head is uh, animatronic via a servo that's operated through the um, receiver, spare channel. You can use spare channel to mimic the head. And the movement of the head can be controlled via an electronic uh, control circuit in line with the uh, servo that can uh, allow the head to move uh, uh, slowly to further uh, mimic more realism into the movement of the, the head. So there's no, no magic there. And people use this all the time in um, scale models. But the actual design of the pilot is a Mia Microflight uh, uh, original design. I started with uh, pilots uh, back in the 80s, you know, the Robo Pilot, which started as a wooden structure or a wooden sculpture. And uh, I sculpted that, every limb, every mechanical part I, I made on that pilot. And, um, and so this pilot kind of stemmed from that work. But in this case, I wanted to make it more flexible. And so I had to design a, a flexible inner shell for the, for the pilot, you know, to uh, uh, allow the, uh, the hand movement you know, free, freely and uh, realistically. Uh, there's a lot of articulation that happen, you know, when you use servos for control on, on, the, on a pilot body. And so to minimize all that complexity, you know, I elected to design this particular pilot as a flexible uh, body, just basically to mimic the control via the hands. And so this pilot is composed of an inner flexible soft body, as well as an outer shell, which would be the uh, flight suit. Uh, the head is separate. You know, the head was designed as a separate sculpture, the face sculpture, the eyeglasses, the helmet, the base of the helmet, and it's got some added little details such as the microphone and uh, there's a shield that goes over the, the helmet here I had this model in storage I just took it out so I, I think I lost it, the shield but you know if you look at our product uh, line at our website you can see all those parts there you know they're nice and clear it also comes with boots and in gloves to mimic a typical flight suit um, that pilots wear you know when they fly uh, high and they need to protect their, their bodies you know from the environment so those gloves are kind of mimicked in that respect but I had to design the, the gloves uh, basically from scratch and I did a lot of experimentation with ways of uh, assembling a set of gloves that I could uh, offer um, uh, that they would look re realistic and they would uh, work as, uh, as I intended it. The, uh, the boots also if you look at the, uh, some of those parts you know they're, they're very uh, very detailed parts and if you ever try to do something similar in miniature you'll know how much work it, it involves. Um, there's a lot of thought that went into making these particular gloves and like I said a lot of experimentation with materials uh, these things are sewn, they're, they're assembled in about, uh, you know, it takes about uh, 10 steps to assemble uh, these things. So it's, it's very, very uh, elaborate work. Um, not a copy of anybody else because I've never seen gloves and I've never seen boots. 
Uh, I've never seen uh, pilots, uh, you know, done in in a similar form. Yes, there are flight suits that uh, look probably similar in uh, you know some of the early stuff that you see with the GI Joe figures, you know, kind of similar to that. But you know, we elected to do our own patterns and our own designs and the way we make this. It has to work in a micro light model because it has to be flexible and all these things have to be you know you can't have a, a too, too rigid of a pilot because uh, it, it just will restrict some of the movements of the um, uh, mechanics that are being uh, executed by the, the servos through the links and etc etc so very original stuff you know the uh, the control panel in the front is also original because you know there are so many control panels that I could have lifted from real ultra lights but I, I don't like to do that I like to you know be inspired by some of the real stuff and, and kind of make my own uh, my own designs uh, from from that information. Uh, this, uh, in fact, all the, all these models that I make come from uh, real inspiration, you know, from real aircraft. Um, and in particular, the the radio control micro has has come from a, a lot of inspiration that I originally uh, started with uh, from a real a radio control micro light back in in the 80s. Although I have simplified many of the um, parts, uh, you'll see that the frame here is aluminum. I, I don't like to put too many details on the kits because, uh, number one, they add up cost. And so this is a very uh, uh, simplified but well thought out uh, design. You notice that my cables here, that my, my cable system is very simplistic and is done for a purpose. I mean, I could have machined, CNC machined all these little parts here, uh, but by the time you, you get making all those parts uh, you know, via CNC machine and you make them uh, true, true to scale, you know, you end up with a very, uh, you know, a very expensive model. And so I wanted to make a model that everybody can afford and so so it's within the average rc model of similar size cost i'm also working on fpv racing quadcopters and some other products that have been kind of eating my time here but i just thought i I'd do this video to, just kind of to keep people in the loop i have not forgotten this and it's still going on i'm still selling these uh most of my customers are either people that have the, the real thing and that have been uh, uh interested in, in obtaining a, a kit and since we're the only company making these things, you know, they have purchased that from us. You know, most of these customers are private people. They keep things to themselves. Uh, but there are some that buy, you know, our products, you know, to reverse engineer them and to, uh, and to see, you know, how, how this is done. You know, what, we're, what we're doing, what we're using. But my concern is just to, you know, just to show people, you know, what we're doing. Uh, we have a certain way of doing things, a certain, certain style, and for, for, for good reasons, you know, the way we make them. Um, these things can certainly be uh, upscale, you know, with uh, custom parts that we also offer. And I mean, you can take this to many, many levels. But the whole point and my whole goal with these things was to keep it lightweight. The lighter you keep the model, the better it flies. That's just simple common sense. If you have flown any type of radio control models, you'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, once again, this is Mario with me on Microflight. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching.